Hi everyone, Dr. Susan here. Today, I will discuss five worst foods for your sperm health. Only a few people know that the average man's sperm count has dropped steadily over the past 40 years. A recent study states that average sperm counts have dropped by 59% over the past 38 years. This fact should scare everyone, especially men. However, sperm health is the last thing on the minds of most men. How nutrition impacts sperm is even farther away from our collective consciousness. No one knows exactly why sperm counts are falling suddenly. There are some common risk factors which includes smoking tobacco, drinking alcohol, using certain illicit drugs, being overweight, being severely depressed or stressed, having certain past or present infections, being exposed to toxins, overheating the testicles, and many more. What we eat is always a culprit for any health problem. Accordingly, several studies suggest that consuming certain foods may harm sperm. Before I discuss foods that can affect sperm health, it's worth mentioning that most studies dealing with nutrition aren't set up to show that eating particular foods cause disease, most studies are only set up to show associations, not causes. First in my list is processed meats. This is not surprising, recent studies link processed meats to all sorts of illnesses. Processed meats include hot dogs, salami, beef jerky, bacon, etc. I know, they're delicious. But several studies show the association between processed meat and low sperm count and altered motility. It's not clear how these foods affect sperm, but it appears the effect isn't a positive one. Of note, these same studies did not find an association between eating chicken and reduced sperm health. Researchers are primarily concerned about trans fats increasing the risk of heart disease. Unfortunately, the concerns don't stop there. A 2011 Spanish study linked the increased intake of trans fats with decreased sperm counts. Now what are trans fats? Most trans fats are formed through an industrial process that adds hydrogen to vegetable oil, which causes the oil to become solid at room temperature. This partially hydrogenated oil is inexpensive and less likely to spoil, so foods made with it have a longer shelf life. Some restaurants use partially hydrogenated vegetable oil in their deep fryers, because it doesn't have to be changed as often as do other oils. The manufactured form of trans fat, known as partially hydrogenated oil, can be found in a variety of food products, including commercial baked goods, such as cakes, cookies and pies, microwave popcorn, frozen pizza, refrigerated dough, such as biscuits and rolls, fried foods, including french fries, donuts and fried chicken, non-dairy coffee creamer and stick margarine. Next important foods are soy products. Soy products contain phytoestrogen, and estrogen-like compounds that come from plants. Consuming soy had a significant impact on sperm count, as men in the highest intake group had notably lower sperm counts than those who did not eat soy. So, it's better to avoid soy products if you have sperm count-related concern. During childhood, milk consumption was often encouraged for growth and strength. When it comes to male fertility, not all dairy is created equal. Surprisingly, a study involving 189 men discovered that consuming high-fat dairy products, including whole milk, cheese, and cream, was linked to abnormal sperm shape and reduced motility. Other research has shown that consuming more than three portions of full-fat dairy food per day can lead to poorer sperm quality in men. Conversely, low-fat milk, a dairy product with lower fat content, was associated with increased sperm concentration and motility. Now, next important thing is pesticides and bisphenol or BPA. Honestly, these are probably the scariest on the list because they are not foods, but they still end up in what we eat. Plus, they're everywhere. Obviously, pesticides end up on vegetables and fruits. They also end up in meat and fish due to tainted water supplies. BPA is no better, it's in most food packaging and cans. It slowly leaches into the foods we eat. Both BPA and chemicals within pesticides act as xenoestrogens, chemicals that mimic estrogen. Just like the phytoestrogens in soy, xenoestrogens have harmful effect on sperm concentration. On a side note, some of the same chemicals in pesticides can come from non-stick cookware. 
In conclusion, consuming high-fat dairy products, processed meats, and sugary drinks has been linked to decreased sperm count and motility. It's important to maintain a healthy and balanced diet that includes whole foods, fruits, vegetables, and lean proteins to optimize male fertility. Making small changes to your diet can have a significant impact on your reproductive health and overall well-being. That's all for today. Subscribe our channel for more such educational videos, thank you.